name is Nat. I hope you're having a terrific day today. And for this video, we are going to be building and organizing my new bookshelves. All right, before we get into anything bookish, make sure to hit like and subscribe down below, as well as tell me in the comments, how many bookshelves do you have? So I recently reorganized my room. I moved to my bed. So I now have the entirety of this wall free for some new bookshelves. I will unfortunately have to move <laughs> this Batman shelf to the other side of the room where I have another one, but uh, we'll be able to deal with that. I thought it would be fun to make a video out of building my shelves because I'm sure this is going to be a quite a process. I ordered a solder model 427,266 in soft white. They have alternating sizing shelves and they're about four feet tall. I am very excited to have more space and actual bookshelves for the first time in quite a while. These babies are definitely heavy duty, so if it seems like I'm struggling, uh, it's not the fact that I'm insanely weak, although I kind of am, it's the fact that these babies are heavy. I am currently watching How I Met Your Mother while I'm doing this. I might eventually put on an audiobook because I do need to prioritize that more, but <laughs> we'll see which one wins out. It might be how I met your mother. I've just been on a kick for it lately. Anyway, let's actually get into this. We got everything out of the box. Now it is time to start assembling. And I realized I have to go get a screwdriver and a hammer. Um, I also really appreciate that it says not to actual size. <laughs> Cause I was really concerned about that. <laughs> So I got everything organized. I figure out the first steps. I got a screwdriver, a hammer, and because I realized some of those scr screws are really big, got a drill.
Okay, we got it done. Um, I am not going to organize my shelves tonight because I'm very hot, I'm very sweaty, and it's 10 o'clock and I want to take a shower. I also went to the gym before this, so <laughs> urge to shower very strong right now. They look good. They're very empty. <laughs> So I don't know why I went to show you guys as though there was something on them. I put two photos and a candle. That's my decoration for right now. <laughs> I will pick this back up tomorrow to do the actual organizing. Hey y'all, welcome back. Now it is time for the organizing bit. I have no idea how I'm gonna go about this. I do think I am going to move my comics and graphic novels down onto these shelves so I can kind of space out my pops a little bit more uh, so they're not all crammed onto that one shelf. I have no idea what's gonna go on that shelf now so I have to figure that out. I think first off though, I'm gonna start by moving everything that is in my closet out here. And currently I alphabetize by the author's last name. I probably am gonna stick with that setup just because it's the one I'm most accustomed to and it is the one that works best for my brain because that's how I find books. I am once again watching How I Met Your Mother. Should be listening to an audiobook? Probably won't. actually got a fair amount done. I even pulled a few books off that I want to unhaul. Now I have a little bit extra room up on my favorites shelf and I still have to figure out how to organize everything else. I managed to put all of my books on this top shelf and I even still have a little bit of room right here which is great because if I read some of these babies that are on my TBR and decide to keep them I have some extra space then I put my comics in this section oh actually I just realized I put the ones horizontally that are my back rolls but I just realized that I actually missed one I was initially planning to move the books from that shelf, which is a mix between my monthly wrap-up slash my monthly TBR, and I was gonna put them on top of the shelves with my bookends, but since I still have a fair amount of room, I think instead I'm gonna utilize these three cubby holes in the middle for wrap-up, TBR, reading plans kind of area, and then I guess the rest of my TBR books are going to go on the bottom. Also, it's a really hot in here. Holy crap. Please don't judge me for being so shiny. I am sweating. All right, back to organizing. <laughs> my old journals that are all filled up out there because my journaling shelf that I have in my closet is currently overflowing as well and I, I feel like I don't really look at them given that they are in my closet so I think this might be a good way to actually visualize them and remind myself that I have them and occasionally flip through them. All right. 
right, so these are all of my currently completed journals. So, did you catch that really smooth catch? Okay, I'm gonna stop talking and just go put them in the bowl. And with that shelf, we are finally done. Also, this is why I like holding onto these. This was the first journal I used to keep notes in when I first started booktube and wow that is so wild to flip back to. That is officially it. Let's do a final tour of everything. I've decided to keep my bookends up top and I think I am going to put the books that I am currently reading in there since I am right now reading an audiobook and an ebook obviously there is nothing in there. Okay y'all, so that is it. I finally have bookshelves and I am so excited about it. As always, thank you so much for coming to my channel today. I really appreciate it. Make sure to hit like and subscribe down below. I come out with videos on Monday and Friday, but until then, I hope you continue to have a terrific day. Love you, bye!